Hey guys, Bullshitty here. So, I will make this quick because I'm trying to play another thing of Poppy Playtime after this. Um, so tomorrow's video will be Poppy Playtime Part 2. Um, so basically the thing about uh, Poppy Playtime is I'm trying to get it done while it's still hot. Um, so SpongeBob Rehydrated and Goblet of Fire will have to wait until after I'm done with Poppy. Um, or, you know, Goblet of Fire is a lot easier to record, so I'll go ahead and get that done if I can't find any other videos. Um, but anyways, uh, Amphibia just finished, so I want to cover it while it's that is still hot. Um, so anyways, before we go and try to die a multiple times by Bonzo the Bunny, um, basically Amphibia, I'm going to make this short and sweet, basically it's a girl named Anne, she has... A toxic friend named Sasha, and then of course a nerdy that doesn't really get along with the other two, uh, Marcy. Uh, Marcy is on her way, spoilers for later series, but she's moving. But the thing is she doesn't want to move and lose her friends, so she basically finds this chest that has gems. She travels to the frog world. This frog world, I think it's called an amphibia. Basically, it's got frogs, toads. It's got bigger and badder versions of, of regular animals and stuff. Like, there's uh, newts that were like the smart characters of the realm. But, uh, basically, she travels there. And it's kind of like a fantasy land. And she loves that kind of stuff. So, she wants, there, wants to stay there. And she also has wants to bring her friends along to join with her. Um, and basically, she gets them stuck there, um, and makes a deal with the, like, the, the overlord, um, that basically, uh, his family tree and other, uh, like, scholars and all that created the core, which is, like, a consciousness and a machine, and his dad was the last to be uploaded to that consciousness. And, uh, basically, they want to rule over the world with an iron fist. Um... And when they hear about Earth, they want to conquer that as well. Um, but of course, there's a prophecy of three great warriors using the red, green, and blue powers. Basically, it's natural powers just to beat the crap out of this core and save the land. Um, Anne is the one that gets along with the frogs. Uh, Marcy's travels there, and of course she's smart, so she's going to get in with the, ne the, the newts. Um, and, uh, Sasha, of course, is the brooding, uh, troublemaker, so she has toads. Um, anyways, um, basically, eventually, they start turning into better people and badasses. Um, Anne discovers that she can fend for herself. Marcy learns that she, she's useful, but, of course, some people just don't see that. Um... And that's a weakness that eventually gets her is people you find out that she's useful and sees that she doesn't uh, that she's kind of insecure about how people treat her with that. So people take uh, um, you know don't really care too much. And then Sasha you know manipulates and she gets along with the toads because those are those kind of people at the time. And eventually they make themselves better people where they're not so toxic. Um, but eventually they all gather together. Saucer tries to be the bad guy. That way they can go home quicker. Um, Anne wants to go home. But she wants to help the frogs. And, and other people. And then Marcy wants to stay there. But she also wants to have this great adventure. Um, eventually they find out the powers. They find out that Marcy uh, betrayed them. Just to try to stay in the world. Um, I have to call him later. But uh, basically that's how it is. It's just. Eventually, they figure out that, you know, they have their own issues. They help each other to solve those issues. And they get over it. Get They beat the core. Beat the, the prince slash king who used to have friends that were, um, I guess, the ancestor of the, like, leader of the toads. And the ancestor of the main frog. Uh, I think they're, like, the planters or whatever. Uh, basically, those were his friends. And... He, they basically try to stop him from doing evil things when he was trying to, you know, be a normal person. But of course he's royalty, so he can't be like that. And basically he gets to be a better person and gets another shot. Um, 
basically that's how it is. Is everyone learns to be better people, and eventually, uh, I think there's like the I don't remember her name, but the she was the tadpole, the youngest, but she was also the psycho, psycho and stuff. Um, she grows up later in the series to be a frog. Um, she slowly matures with feet and hands and becomes a t uh, frog at the very end. Uh, everyone, you know, gets to be a good society. Um, and then, of course, the other one, the girls, they're friends, but distant friends. Uh, Marcy goes and be this amazing scholar um, and becomes a frog nurturer. And then Sasha does her own thing. But anyways, that's really it for Amsterdam. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.